The Master's Mysteries Tales of Magical Mastery Episode 121 Today, we still need to talk about the treasure in that hidden cave. Some may ask, how did the treasure that the Dragon Shaman has been peering at for so long suddenly appear so easily? This is also fate. No one expected that the stone cave opened by the cracking earth would connect to the treasure. It was stumbled upon by the three fools who came to explore the cave. This must be fate too. But sometimes it is destined to be. And if wealth is not in one's fate, one should not force it. However, just a glimpse of the astonishing treasure and the collapse of the cave almost took the lives of these three brothers. The only path leading to the treasure behind, that stone bridge, was also destroyed in this collapse. It seems that it is destined that no one will obtain this earth-shattering wealth. The collapse of the entire underground palace is getting worse, with fragments continuously falling. It is no longer something that human effort can reverse. In no time, the entire stone cave collapsed entirely. Later, it caused a chain reaction, more than half of the mountain collapsed, shaking the earth continuously. The collapse caused the ground to sink into a large pit, whether the three fools are alive and have run out or have already lost their lives underground is unknown. Furthermore, not far away, on the cliffs of the tripolar ridge, you can see rising dust from afar, accompanied by a tremendous sound. Your treasure is gone. At this moment, Leo Fengi has leisure time, and while fighting, notices the changes not far away. It's all because of you damn bastards. Upon hearing Leo Fengi's words, Duke Saiyanjin hurriedly turned his head to look instantly infuriated. If it weren't for these people causing trouble, he would have already taken the treasure as military funds and led tens of thousands of followers to cooperate with the nomadic army in attacking the Central Plains. Those who hinder my achievement of dominance should all die. Establishing dominance on the vast land of the Central Plains was his lifelong pursuit, but now it has all been destroyed. Duke Saiyanjin is now nearing madness. In midair, he suddenly throws a punch, but no energy is released. Instead, a strange object appears in the palm of his hand. All of you die. Only after that thing completely emerges do they realize that it is an indescribable monster. After this monster emerged from Du Xianjin's palm, it carried a powerful demonic energy and fiercely pounced towards Liu Fengdi. However, how could a demonic creature appear within a human body? I know you've turned demonic. I've been waiting for you to reveal yourself. After refining the core of the Black Phoenix Demon, Liu Fengi naturally activated his Phoenix Eye. He finally understood why Duke Tianjin was more formidable than his master. It was because he had long delved into the dark path. Let's talk a bit more here. Duke Tianjin has immense ambitions. Even during his apprenticeship with Master Leibui, he was eager for quick success and instant benefits. Under a fortuitous circumstance, he obtained a demonic art for transformation, secretly practicing to become stronger. After decades, he went to extremes and indeed developed the power of transformation. But in the face of his demonic form, Liao Fengi remained unruffled. Keep in mind that the art of suppressing demons is abundant in the Moshin sect. It is their specialty, with a few hand gestures, a Tian Gang demon suppression formation was formed. With Liao Fengi's current cultivation, deploying this demon suppressing grand formation was significantly more imposing and powerful than before. Since Duke Saiyanjin has revealed his demonic form, he can no longer escape within this grand formation. He is firmly trapped within. Suddenly, several bolts of heavenly thunder and earthly fire simultaneously struck, all hitting Duke Saiyanjin. In an instant, his demonic form was shattered. With the destruction of his demonic form, Duv Saiyanjin naturally couldn't endure it, and he was also seriously injured by the heavenly thunder. As the saying goes, everyone has their own path. How could one successfully escape to the heavens? 
Du Xianjun exhausted all his strategies, made all things hopeless, and in the end, he met a fate where all endeavors came to naught. This left Du Xianjun bitterly resentful. The foolish person he had just trampled underfoot how did they suddenly stand before him as the victor? Why his life had once been splendid, gifted from a young age, he was noticed by the master of Maoshan, Lebui, after receiving careful instruction in martial arts, he became the leading figure of Maoshan in just a few years. You were clearly a foolish person. Why, later, he betrayed the sect, cultivated divine skills, grew increasingly powerful, defeated countless martial arts experts, and could even surpass his master. Although he suffered from brotherly betrayal and lover's treachery, he could see that the world was about to be his. Do you still remember what our master used to say the most? But why did everything collapse in the hands of his foolish disciple? Walk, though righteous, path. He just couldn't understand. Facing this person who betrayed the sect, hands stained with blood, Liao Fengi showed no mercy. A talisman was quickly summoned, directly hitting the head of Duke Xianjin, who had turned himself into a demonic creature. The drawing of Maoshan talismans is the same, but the way they are employed varies. However, the person invoking the talisman is crucial. A seemingly ordinary talisman, when invoked, immediately dispersed the demonic aura enveloping Duke Xianjin. With the dissipation of the demonic aura, the person turned into a lifeless shell. Liao Fengi couldn't comprehend it. Under the guidance of his master, he held no bias against foxes and ghosts, but he believed in being human. You are the foolish one. How could Du Xianjin, before him, devote so much effort to transform himself into a demonic creature? In pursuit of power, he truly embarked on a path of unrelenting obsession. Yet, the world is not lacking such individuals. For the sake of change, they lose themselves. Du Xianjin is not the only one. Du Xianjin is dead, and his body quickly withers, but numerous scales unexpectedly grow. It seems his demonic transformation has reached completion. After a while, it turned into a piece of charred wood. This demon has finally perished, bringing relief to everyone's hearts. For his ambitions, he committed countless misdeeds. Helpless, the master watched as his elder brother became increasingly ruthless, enduring the torment of inner demons every day. With Du Xianjin's death, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. His heavily injured body could no longer hold up, and after falling, he closed his eyes and stopped breathing. Excellent, kid, well done. A person relies on a breath of life. Once this breath is released, that person is like an extinguished lamp. We are talking about Xiaodi. Given the extent of her injuries, she shouldn't have been able to survive, however, because of concern for Liu Fengi. She kept holding on to her last breath. Now, seeing Liu Fengi become so strong, her heart finally let go. Xiaodi. A shout from Broken Dao suddenly alarmed Liu Fengi. In fact, he also knew the severity of Xiaodi's injuries. He just didn't want this moment to come after all. Xiaodi. Meanwhile, by the lake, the black fox was shaken down from the sky by a powerful force. It turned out that within the tornado in the sky, the nine-headed dragon and the desert northern demon dragon were engaged in a fierce battle. Unable to endure any longer, the black fox wanted to rush up to help. However, after several attempts, he failed to break into the tornado and frustration arose in his heart. With a swing of the spirit fox sword, he once again charged forward. 